is making tremendous progress. Um, we're working on some really interesting new technical areas in the game and uh, everyone's working extremely hard and uh, I think it's fair to say the skill level has gone up quite appreciably in the short time that we've been here. So obviously ADCC is the ultimate goal. It's on my mind, like I gotta win ADCC, gotta just, that's just like brainwashed by that at this point. Uh, it's being pushed back, you know, for Corona, for other than that, just focusing on training, focusing on lifting, focusing on eating properly, just being as professional as I can. It's not, not very exciting, but just, you know, run of the mill, trying to be, trying to perfect my craft. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Because we all moved here together, many of us live in communal houses and, and so you not only see each other more on the mats, but uh, more off the mats as well. So I think overall the pattern has been one of uh, increasing team cohesion. back in uh, New Jersey and New York, everybody was super spread out, you know, like the closest teammate to me was like 30 minutes away. So, uh, you know, we didn't really hang out too much, you know, occasionally you got on the weekends or something, get some food or something like that. Um, but mainly we just train, go home and then sit in our house all day. So definitely we're, we're all hanging out after training, we're going to the beach, things like that. So we've definitely gotten a, a lot closer since we moved out here. In here? In the door? Yeah, holler at Fernando and Luis and see what's up. Yeah, no worries. Do you want do you have room in your car? You want us to take some of them? What what do you what do you guys want to do? Should take them with you or something. Alright, yeah. 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 I think I cars on too, right? I think so, yeah. Fernando and Luis or who? I think yeah. Fernando and Luis. Perfect. Yeah, they have cars. A dynamic duo. Hey, neither do we. Of course we'll all get robbed for sure, so. Alright, so we just trained. We're trying to follow Flo Grappling, who's in a Nissan Rogue, and Fernando and Luis and Oliver Taza, who are in a Hyundai something, a red Hyundai. And we're already like two or three cars behind them because I was eating chicken and driving and almost crashed like four times. And now we're being cut off. Alright, we're following them to Old San Juan, where we're gonna get some food, maybe get robbed. Carjack, who knows? Water. Yeah. I like it. It's like blue. Yeah. Crystal blue. Oh my god. Again. Yeah. Nice. Please don't crash into a car, bro. Just come close. Alright, parking skills. <laughs> no, no good. Nice, uh, great start. Yeah. This time, right? Yeah. Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Look at it as much as I can, guys. Nope. Alright. Dude. It's a tight fit. It's a tight fit, man. Fuck. <laughs> you got this on camera, at least. <laughs> it's an amazing grappler for a fucked up driver. <laughs> I did it! I didn't crash once, bro! <laughs> yeah. uh, many other things, he's a white belt. Come on! Stay tuned! Come on! Everyone just talking shit, man. <laughs> I wonder if Ethan has a driver license. Worst drivers, man. <laughs> yeah, worse.
Bro, you gotta do, look look at it. Okay, it's before it's anything good. else. Yeah, you got fanny packs. No, it's good. It's good. Whatever you say, bro. Check, check, check the crepes, though. Check that shit. Crepe check. Bow. <laughs> All right, so I just learned a pretty cool story about Fernando and his mustache. As you can see, it's pretty well groomed, and uh, this mustache used to, be, used to be so well groomed that it in fact got him a photo with Hulk Hogan. This is me. This is me. This is uh, like five, five probably years ago or something like that. And this is Mr. Hulk Hogan. I was in a party where his son was playing the DJ booth. And everybody was having fun, and then I, everybody was looking at Hulk, Hulk looking at me, and I thought he was looking at someone else. Then he pointed at me, and it's like, look, brother, come on, come on, brother. <laughs> and I went there, he's talking about my masters, because my master was rounded, and we were talking about it like for five minutes. So yeah, amazing, amazing guy, Hulk. <laughs> so that's just one new thing I learned about Fernando. Other than that, he takes us on crazy hikes all the time. Uh, he walks carrying like a 45-pound backpack like it's nothing sprinting up a hill like helps us explore keeps us out of danger for the most part and uh yeah man helps us train helps us do everything man this guy's this guy's a legend down here <laughs> <laughs>
This is an amazing spot. I grew up here in Puerto Rico during the great times and bad times, you know, politics and things in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is, like I said always, it's an amazing island with great people, but sometimes politics can take advantage of it, like in, like in every sport. Sports here, martial arts was the things for me at least. And jiu-jitsu is something that is good here in Puerto Rico. But now with John, I know it's, it's another whole level. I know that Puerto Rico is, a, is amazing. It's an amazing island, it's an amazing place. And there's a lot to it. It's a lot to it. Puerto Rico, there's a lot to it. Pretty nice view though. I dig it. Puerto Rican Jiu-Jitsu is great, man. It's, uh, we, we've been here a few times already. We came here uh, like for camps with Mo. I think like over yeah. over a few years now, we've been coming back and forth. Yes, sir. You you, so, you were a little monster. Now you're yeah, a big monster. No. Yeah, it's yeah. growing, man. Rice and beans. Every time I've been here, it's a little, <laughs> little more rice and beans. You know, like anything I need, these guys help out. I can message them any time of the day. They'll, they'll help me out with anything I need. So Take uh, you on a hike whenever you want. Yeah, take us at hikes at uh, 6 a.m. or nine hours long, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's great, man. <laughs> you made it, yeah. It's true, we, we made, made it. it. Yeah. And Trish made it, too. We, we yeah. had you guys Trish made with it us, and man. came back. That's it, yeah, that's it. Barely. To be honest, barefoot, halfway yeah. through, barefoot. barefoot. Yeah. So we get to the top, right? We're at the top of this massive waterfall. If you fall off, you're dead, you're 100%. Dead. We slipped and almost died a few So times, I yeah. slip at the top of this waterfall, and I start, I'm belly down, I start sliding down this waterfall. I'm like 20 feet from the edge, and I just barely clang on Nikki, to a rock. Nikki, like, warps yeah. his body around, slides, and, and latches on, like, two on, fingers. Yeah. yeah, and I have to, like, crawl myself back <laughs> up and get back up to my feet. That was, was the so closest funny. I've ever been to die. <laughs> He's like a spider. They develop them fingers, the traction. It's right here. Body traction. Because they, they told me to go to a hike, so I took them to a hike. You know what I mean? And then... Uh, Fernando, yeah. every time Fernando brings us on a hike, he's like, yeah, it's like a 10 minute hike. <laughs> and then it ends up being like six hours long. Uh, honestly, my diet's gotten cleaner out here. Um, you know, in New York, I was uh, I was ordering out all the time, and you know, it's, it's always better to to you know cook your own food. You know exactly what's going into it and everything. So overall, just been eating cleaner. Plus, even when you got to the the restaurants and like in this area, it's just like chicken, rice, and beans. You know, split those fish tacos. Got the churrasco. It's probably my favorite meal down here since I moved here. I've been like addicted to churrasco, um, a fungo, sweet plantains. I like everything about my corto. I enjoy the meals, I enjoy the people, I enjoy everything that has to do with what, what is Puerto Rico all about. Because they, they actually just move in, but I feel they're, they're, they're actually enjoying the Puerto Rican vibe and actually having the best time of their lives in Puerto Rico. Yes. A lot more that you haven't seen yet. Puerto Rico is full of waterfalls, Puerto Rico is full of beach, Puerto Rico is full of culture, and everything is fun. You haven't seen the west side yet. You haven't seen the south side yet. You haven't seen the, the middle part of Puerto Rico, like the mountains, waterfalls, rivers. You haven't seen anything like that yet. If you guys come back, I'll promise you, I will take you to great waterfalls and great adventures. You guys can come anytime. You got a Boricua brother here, and this guy's gonna be talking probably Spanish once you guys come back. So now uh, I'll head back to the house, uh, probably chill for a little bit, watch some TV, play some video games, and then uh, after that, uh, we'll end up lifting later. Yeah, this guy's a killer, Bella. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna give you guys some good footage. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. You guys ready? Okay. My, my name is Bela. I'm originally from Hungary, so I live in Puerto Rico about ten years, 
and I'm a fitness enthusiast, also I'm a fitness trainer, coach, nutritionist, all together, so uh, that's my business, that's my life, that's my work. Come please, let's go and warm up. You don't have to bring the knee in all the way to the elbow. Good, when you're done, you can do 15 jumping jacks and we go back. Do 15 jumping jacks for me, everybody's finished at the same time. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two Today we're gonna do like some dynamic warm up, then we're gonna do like a circuit training, which included mostly like weight training and some uh, mobility exercises and as well as some functional movements. Um, you know, we don't really chit chat around, so it's 45 minutes in and out, hard training, and we just we just do our job. Uh, Nikki, you can start here. Nikki, other Nikki, you're gonna start, take the dumbbell with uh, stepping up, and you bring your knee up, okay? I give you light weights, like maybe 20 pounders. You do 10, 10 on each reps. The other knee is in inward. You could kick back. You do 12 reps and you roll up. It's 50 pounders. Let's go. Leave your legs up, leave it up, leave it up, yes. So dynamically you keep going. Soft on the arrival. There you go. All the way back, all the way back. Good. So my goal is also with the train, the training to progressively loading them, uh, keep them away from injuries, and 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 progressively become them uh, become stronger, more fit all around, more power, more speed, more stamina. It's something about people with accents. You know, you kind of like you click it a little bit better. Like John Danher, when he talks to you, one of those same Craig doing the same thing. When Bella is listening, is talking to you, you kind of like all right, like you know, let's follow what this guy says, knows what knows what he's talking about. Kick back with this leg. When you bring in, bring in the left, uh huh. And this way you kick it back, kick it back. Ah, slowly, slowly. And try to keep the leg straight. Twelve reps. The hardest part is just, like I said, it gets your heart rate up, and you just have to keep it elevated for so long. It's just both physically and mentally exhausting. This sucks. I hate this, but it'll make us better. We gotta fucking do it. Let's go, guys. You're just pushing us more and more and more. So you know when. When the final minutes are on the uh, on the clock, and we really have to push ourselves. We'll be used to the uh, to the feeling. Slow, slow, control, control the ball. He's a maniac, Don. So I'm sure everyone you interviewed is calling him a psycho or, or a crazy heart murderer. You know, he knows how to knows how to push us for sure. Good, good. They're doing good now. That you start to see that they're taking a little bit longer breaks. Like they're getting tired. I don't know how long we're going, but it's about 40 minutes at least, right? So one, two, three, four, five exercise. So we shouldn't be jammed up. Let's do another four rounds. Good. There you go. You just push through. You can do it. Two. 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 You guys, my last client today, so it's okay if we go over. I don't mind. They would love. They would love to see me on the floor with them. <laughs> I think we start beginning the fourth round now. Are you familiar with, with grappling jiu-jitsu at all? Uh, not so much about the rules. I have seen some of the videos, you know, and now I'm like the guys are they inviting me also to go and roll with them. Uh, but uh, a little bit, you know, of course, with wrestling, uh, I see that, you know, I would like to try it out for myself too. I would like to roll with the guys a couple of times. I'm sure they would be happy to break my bones. No, you're doing good. That's what I want. That's what I want. These guys doesn't need lots of motivation. They're pretty driven inside. They, they're not the type of people. They're not an average gym goer. Not an, they are athletes. They know this is the reason they are here. I don't mind if they feel out of the comfort zone. That's what I want. Man, this is rough. As you guys can tell by my face, I am not happy doing this stuff. Just thinking about that ADCC gold, man. That's it, yeah? Don't rush it, don't rush it, don't rush it. <laughs> uh, this is our normal workouts. You know, we uh, we train hard in the morning and lift lift uh, you know equally as hard at night. So uh, 
you know, oftentimes this is people go into camp for, in preparation for, for matches or fights. This is our every day. We're always ready. We're, uh, we're always in competition shape. So when they call us, we come. And when, they, when I find their weakness, I work on it. Fuck. A lot of the senior guys on our team, uh, people think that, you know, they're just gifted or it definitely a lot of it's from John, but I mean the personality, that their mindset, they, they never quit. So you can see in the workout, like I mean it sucked. We're taking breaks, but we're all we're pushing through it. We're pushing through the fatigue. We're mentally strong. We're we're always going forward. So I mean that's just a testament to everybody. You did three on the pull-ups, and this is the third one because I, I feel like I'm on the right path now. Look at me, I'm dying. I'm you know working hard. I don't even know what day it is. We're just say you know. We train, we come here and lift, eat in between, try and get shit done in between. It's just no, no distractions, you know, we're just training. Uh, one thing on our mind, man. Cool, that's it. Well, we want to breed champions here. So on my part, as far as conditioning them and making them stronger and better, you know, um, that's what we want to do, that they will keep winning. And the guys never complain. They don't complain, don't, they don't back down. They're not, like, not an average person. Uh, my game is very similar to my brother's. Pretty much everybody on our team, you know, we're always looking to go out and, and push the pace and, uh, you know, work towards a submission. I'm always very proud of what they do. I always push my athletes towards control leading to submission. Every class that I teach has that as its core value. And uh, I'm always incredibly proud of the way my students go out there and exhibit that on the stage or, or die trying. They, they fight as hard as they can. If they don't get it, then they were trying the whole match. We shield half guard, we have our uh, frames in place. I scoop my hips out and I pummel in my butterfly hook. I pummel my arm in and it becomes an underhook. Our opponent grabs her head. This time we attempt to see negation, but it does a good job of facing out. My hand switches across uh, to a cross ram in his lag grip. I use this to help push myself around the corner. From here, I grab a secondary leg and my hand cups inside the knee. Now, I focus on getting my knee behind his. I lock the figure forward. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of pushing towards his hands and I'm never gonna sit him down. I want to think about pushing directly across his hips where he has no base, and we end up with a nice uh, inside syncopated entry. Yeah, I, I, I've definitely changed up my style over the, uh, the past year or so, um, and uh, I've been uh, really focusing on, on passing and, and putting people down. Uh, I'm a lot less stressed out here, you know. The, the commute is, is much easier for us, you know. We get to drive, we're out in the sun all day. Like I, like I said at the beginning of the interview, you know, my, my mood's much better out here. Um, so it just, it allows me to, to you know, just kind of eliminate all the other things from my life and just focus on training. It's definitely been uh, a huge help for my game to move out here. It's a, it's a dangerous matchup for Nicky. And uh, Nicky is smart. He knows that this is going to be a tough, tough match. And he's training hard. be competing against Gabriel Almeida. Uh, you know, he's a black belt from Checkmat. I expect him to, to come out and, uh, you know, play on the feet with me a bit. He's very strong. He's, he's got a bit of a, a size advantage on me, but I, I think I'll be able to put him down. And right now, I'm, I'm pretty much just trying to test out the new skills that I've been working on over the past, uh, you know, one to two years. So, like, my last match was wrestling up from guard. This time, I plan to come out and not even pull guard at all. Um, I'm going to start on the feet and uh, just try and work my wrestling. Training out of Dorado, Puerto Rico, and representing Danaher Death Squad, Nikki Ryan.
30 seconds remaining, I feel like at this point they are they're basically wading through deep water and they're just, they're just fighting through until the final bell here. disappointed uh, if I don't finish him you know I got to his back a few times but uh, man he's one of the strongest guys I've ever felt you know I went out I put him down I passed his guard like I said I was gonna do um, so in that aspect I'm happy you know I'm happy I got to showcase some of the new skills I've been working on biggest pressure for me you know a lot of people would think it'd be like having all the fans hating on me and things like that the biggest pressure for me is just not letting you know my teammates everybody that supports me down Oh yeah. Do you want me to go that way first? Oh shit. See you nerds. Yeah, later nerds. All right. So yeah, this is our normal everyday life. Nothing out of the ordinary. Going from uh, our house to the beach. All right, no problem. Yeah, good job, Damien. Yes. Just floor it. Oh yeah, baby. How are we looking? Good. Delete that footage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right. So right now we're in the Ritz Dorado. I've been living here for a little bit over two years. It's a very big property, it's a couple square miles. It's one of my favorite beaches to come to. There's no rocks. You know, you got the Caribbean water, so it's really warm. And you know, I mean, they're always messing around. They'll come back here, you know, like, you know, wrestle each other in the sand, stuff like that. You know, after the one, after training, it's, it's good for the Three, Three, two, one, go. Ah. Oh, wow, that's that's close. Beach wrestling tournament. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Wait. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Yes! So now, no, 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 Had an underhook, went for the knee pick. You guys, I guess we both stepped out. Then uh, I forgot about the circle. I think he pushed me out. Oh shit! Tie, tie, tie. You know, I ain't afraid. I think, you know, I think Ethan is. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs>
blind. I don't need to see. I don't want to have an unfair advantage against Mickey Rod. You know, we're so evenly matched. Uh, he has sand in his eyes, so, you know, maybe we'll call it off, guys. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh, too easy for him. Oh. Oh, my ribs almost broke. Oh. So, Ethan beat Nikki once, and Nikki beat Ethan. Oh, rematch. Dude, this is a rematch for the win. Yeah, for the win. All right. For all the marbles. I need a 30 second break. Oh, man, you sound wow. like it. They're going for, 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 for body lock seams, you know? Double, double unders or over under to the body lock, I think it's going to be the best, that safest way to win. Yeah, who knows? Careful. Great. Jesus. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Champ, I told you, it's going to be one of the Nickies, man. <laughs> <laughs> How would you assess your performance here today? It wasn't great, you know, somehow Ethan, who has zero wrestling abilities whatsoever, <laughs> managed to take me down once, so it wasn't that good, but I came back and <laughs> won the championship, so. I feel like this, this move made the team come a lot closer. Yeah, I think the guys are just, all of them are just getting better and better at a really good rate. I definitely think uh, we, we grew closer just because, uh, I mean, we don't know anybody here, you know. Um, we're, we, they call us gringos. We're gringos out here, but it's like 14 of us, so we all got really close because, um, you know, our teammates became our family now. Life is a bitch, leave it as you can. But I even hurt in hand when you can do it. Life is a bitch, leave it as you can. But I give an hurt in hand when you can do it. Life is a bitch, I'm a living as I can. I will leave an hurt in hand when I can do it. Life is a bitch, I'm living as I can. I tell you, that's the most stressed I've been in a long time. That was uh, being all the way out here in the middle of Puerto Rico, being stuck. Not good. Then preparing for a competition, so he has to deal with people stalling and smacking him in the face. So when this airs, I'm not being an asshole. Oh, the real damn. <laughs> Anything out there can't be as bad as the one with Gordon. For those of you who are gonna hate, I know you're. I know you're all gonna hate on me for getting. If I get a Miata, my monthly income, uh, about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That just happened. Thanks, man. Anytime I get to get outside, get training, and then uh, you know constantly better myself at the same time, it's it, it's a good day.